So today's topic of discussion is do you need to squat to gain huge massive legs? I know a lot of you have knee issues, uh, joint issues, hip issues, uh, mobility issues, whatever it is, it just involves the legs that pretty much pushes you away from wanting to squat. And a lot of you feel like you are going to be incapable of building huge legs without squats. And I believe that's pretty false. Squats is definitely a great base compound movement to build great legs. You know, it's, it's, it's for sure something that builds great legs. And But the thing is, it's not necessary when you think of the, the whole horizon of what leg training is and what the position you're in what, what what position you're in to really maximize your growth capabilities now you know if you squat more the stronger you get in squat the stronger your legs get in multiple movements when it involves legs which is good you know what i'm saying and, and you know the more you squat the more you can leg press of course um you know the more you leg press it doesn't really push so much into the squat it doesn't really correlate with squat like that you know you can't you can't go up 100 pounds in leg press and expect your squat to go up like 50 pounds. It don't work like that. You know, maybe like five pounds or something like that. But you know, because just because, just because of the positioning of leg press. But that's why, I like, when somebody talks about the leg press max, I'm like, bro, what? What are you doing? This is, this ain't it, chief. All right, this ain't it, chief. All right. So think about, just think about volume. Think about the mass amount of reps and think about volume think about the mass amount of reps think about really pushing the legs to a limit you know because the volume training is so much different from strength training and strength training when I come in here and I do my strength training for deadlifts bench um, 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 squat it's not it's not to go grow big legs you know you can get stronger without getting bigger all right like just because you're doing like strength ex strength exercises develops a different muscle and that's the lean muscle mass it's very um condensed you know there's there's lean muscle mass and then there's volume a lot of volume which you see bodybuilders that's why you see a lot of bodybuilders that aren't as strong as me you know a, a lot of you say like Tehran, that you're stronger than you know bodybuilders that are on steroids and then you that's why that's why i get a lot of accusations of being unnatural because people see bodybuilders that are way bigger than me and can't do what i do and don't understand that bodybuilders train in such a different way than i do i focus on lean muscle density rather than volume they're focused on size 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 training and volume, I mean, size training and lean muscle mass training are two different things, right? Now, you still have lean muscle build and being cut when you diet and stuff um, when you're a bodybuilder, but it's not the same as dense muscle that athletes such as myself um, um, train for. So, that being said, when it comes to size and you're not really worried about strength, you do not have to squat to create great legs. Everything today is focused around high reps, 12, heck, we're, we're ranged from 12, it's, it's gonna be a huge range, depending on the movement, um, from like 12 to, to 20 reps. Uh, leg extensions was three three sets, warm up three sets of 30 reps. I love leg extensions to start out. And then we're gonna move on to some hack squat, this hack squat machine right behind me, um, for about maybe like 12 to 15 reps, and we're gonna go a little bit heavy. My soul, I'll be on the sole of my feet and really pushing into my quads. So what you guys just saw was me go back to leg extensions after the hack squats and did 20 rep, <laughs> I think 20, uh, and did 20 rep and ah my spine. Um, 20 reps, uh, full leg extension, and then 20 reps pulse. So I'm constantly putting pressure on my quads, constantly getting blood flow, and this is what I'm talking about. You constantly blood flow is a mass is the is a is a is a majority of what you want to focus on when it comes to building size. You could just all all worry about size, leg size. And constantly thinking about being active with the legs, constantly finding something that will put the legs at so much constant pressure and, and, and uh, intensity that you 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 want you wanna your goal is to hurt. Your goal is to hurt. 
all right? Your goal is to feel so much blood flow in your legs that you're like wobbling. And that should always be the, the main focus and goal when it comes to leg training uh, for size. And uh, you know, if you, I prefer to have quad and hamstring focused days. So today is like super quad focused. I'm just like focusing mainly on my quads, just terrorizing them. And then the next day will be hamstrings and glutes um, because I feel like my workout is way too long when it's just like full, full on leg exercise. You know, it's like almost 10 exercises in one day. Um, if I do like a full on leg, leg training video um, without like squats or something. So I've broken it down into two separate parts. Um, I've been doing quad and chest lately, like front side and back side, a different type of push pull. Um, actually, it's been like push, push, pull, pull. So back, back, glutes, hamstrings. Uh, and push chest uh, quads uh, training. So it's been really good. Uh, I've been really playing around with it. Uh, let me guys know if you would like the program. I've been writing everything down, so let me guys know if you would like the program. I'll sell it for like mad cheap, like nine bucks. Um, um, I've been doing this for like the last five weeks, and my leg growth has been coming back, so I'm really um, feeling it. I stopped, I stopped training legs um, like this because when they got big, I was getting like chafed shape skin whatever in between my thighs and stuff and like it got really uncomfortable and uh, I would get like blisters and shit it's disgusting I don't want that so um, hopefully this way around find another way to get around that and, you know get my baby powder on put some, some oil around that area keep my skin from chafing and uh, cutting up and stuff so but we got leg press right now we're going high three plates doing 30 reps three sets once again, high reps, keeping, uh, you know, not, not full range of motion right now. We're not going to do full range of motion right now. Um, I'll, sh I'll let y'all know when we do full range of motion, but right now we're just focusing on constant tension. Don't neglect constant tension. Not every single exercise needs to be full repetition, full ROM. And I'm going to constantly preach that, you know, if you know how to properly do um, non-full ROM exercises, then it could be very beneficial, especially for growth. So I'm actually short on time. I got to head out but I want you guys to let you know the concept of today's training. So we start out with leg extensions, as you saw, uh, three sets of 30. Every time you go back to leg extensions, you have 30 to 40 reps. And between every exercise, you go back to leg extensions. So you do leg extensions, you do hack squat, uh, for three sets, go back to leg extensions for one set. 30 to uh, 20 reps, 24 reps, 20 uh, partial reps. Uh, after, after you do leg extensions again, you move to the next movement, which is leg press. You do leg press, you go leg press, uh, three sets, 30 reps, back to leg extensions, uh, right after that last set. Uh, right after that last set, you wanna go to leg extensions. If you can't do leg extensions, I want you to do squat, jump squats. Boom, slight, two, three, not all the way down, just a slight, slight rep to the bottom, and then jump up, 30 reps. Um, and then after that, that might be the easiest option, because especially if you have a busy gym. And then from then on, you go to the, um, uh, what did I move to? What did I move to? What did I move to? I moved to lunges. After that, I moved to lunges. And after lunges, uh, uh, what was it? 15 reps each leg, so 30 reps. Uh, just back and forth. Not walking, just back and forth. One, two, all the way up to 30. Did that three sets. And then after that last set, the jump squats. And when I mean jump squats, once again, it's boom. One, two, three. Stand on the, uh, stand on the sole of your feet of the whole process, um, back to that, really killing the quads. And then, after that, you'll have to find out later. Catch you guys later, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, hope you, hope you like this video. So uh, give it a shout out for sure. Um, I've wasted a lot of time here in Vegas just filming workout videos, literally nothing else but workout videos. Haven't done anything else, but whatever.